Hey, it's Tax Quips Time from TaxMama.com. Today, Tax Mama hears from Chris in the Tax Quips forum with an excellent question. He says, In the near future, I plan to purchase a second home in a different city and move my primary residence to that property. I will rent out my current home. The mortgage for my current property is underwater. The rent I can charge will not cover the mortgage payment. I was wondering if I can claim as a deduction the difference between what I'm able to charge in rent and the mortgage payment. For example, the monthly mortgage, which includes tax and insurance, is $1,750. The monthly rental fee is 1000 For a difference of $750 a month times 12 is $9,000 a year. Can I claim that $9,000 as a deductible loss? Well, Chris... While you're still living in the home, consider getting a mortgage modification, if you can qualify for one. While you may not be able to reduce the loan balance, you might be able to drastically reduce the interest rate. That will make the house more affordable. When you rent out the property, assuming you rent it out at fair market rents in the area, your loss will be even higher than you predict. You'll deduct the insurance and property taxes, which are already in the loan payment. You'll also deduct whatever costs of maintenance and repairs you incur. You also get to deduct depreciation. You won't deduct the principal part of the payments included in the loan payment. By the time you get done, though, your loss is apt to exceed $10,000. You can read IRS Publication 527 for more details about rental properties. Now, the question is, can you deduct it each year? I don't know. It all depends on your income and your filing status and if you're the one managing the property or you farm it out to a management company. As long as you're not married filing separately and you are the only property manager, you may deduct up to $25,000 per year of rental losses providing your adjusted gross income is low enough not to be affected by the phase-out rule. So that special $25,000 allowance is reduced between $100,000 and $150,000 worth of income. Once you hit $150,000, you generally can't use the special allowance. You can read IRS Publication 925 for more information about passive activity and at-risk rules. And let me tell you, when it comes to rental properties, it really does help to get informed before you do this. And remember, you can find answers to all kinds of questions about rental losses and other tax issues free. Where? Where else? At TaxMama.com.